Welcome to day one of my Super Meat Boy countdown. I just went up for pre-order today, so I suggest you go get it for $10 instead of the $15 it will be later. Uh, this game you're watching me play right now is Mighty Jilloff. And this is the character Jill. It is probably the second unlockable character for pretty much everybody. Her power is the ability to float as you tap the jump button. And you can navigate her around stuff like these flames really well. Um, I don't know about you, but I kind of wish that I had had this power as a kid so that I didn't fall and bust my knees and elbows and all kinds of stuff up. Get concussions from stupid bike accidents that I shouldn't have been doing stunts for anyway. But I am rambling. Uh, it's a fantastic little game, as you can already tell. Uh, the music is awesome. I really wish you could be hearing that instead of me blabbering about this. Uh, but you can't. <laughs> uh, really like the uh, shadow effects that they do in this game as well. It kind of gives it an extra depth that some of the older 8-bit kind of games didn't have. And of course there's always the little black areas around the flames. <laughs> Takes me back to my childhood on the Nintendo. Oh, not stupid. Uh, uh, so you might be asking yourself, how much is this game? How can I get a hold of it? Well, my dear friends, it is completely free. All you have to do is click the developer's website link that I have posted with the video and into the blog. You can download this game completely free. It's about 30 minutes of awesome. And there's also a game lower down on that same page. It's called Jill Off Harder. And it's a game where Jill is tied up with rope. And all you can do is jump up and float down. Um, and there's spikes that come from the ceilings and floor, so you have to kind of maneuver that stuff. And there are things that shoot at you from the sides as well. So it's kind of a time challenge, whereas this is kind of get to the top as fast as you can. The other one's a survival kind of game. Both are really fun, really well made, and you should have already checked them out before you watch this probably. And if you're up with the indie scene, you probably already have. God, the fire in here. Some of the visual stuff and the music really just reminds me of the NES so much. Like, I almost wish I could just buy this on a cart and play it with my NES controller because it's simple enough to do. But then I would have to pay for it instead of getting it for free, so that doesn't make any sense. Just accept free things, Mark. Uh, as you can tell, when I died, uh, you don't just start over at the beginning of the game. You go back to the beginning of the colored room that you're in, or to kind of a uh, halfway point if there is one for you in there. I was lucky in that there was here. And right up here is another one, because as you can tell, this part gets a little rough, a little sketchy. Try my best not to make the uh, weird noises I make when I'm gaming. Damn it. <laughs> uh, that was stupid. But yeah, the uh, super. Uh, I always want to call her Super Jill. It's Mighty Jill Off. God. Uh, Mighty Jill Off is a fantastic game. Go check it out. It's completely free to play completely free to love and uh, come on back the rest of this week where I will be playing and doing videos for more of these games uh, I think Ogmo is tomorrow so Jumper uh, and if you're lucky maybe I'll play a couple of his games I think there's three of them that I've got and a Redux version so uh, Jumper is tomorrow uh, the next, rest of the week we'll be going through the rest of the unlockable characters and then of course on November 30th, you can get your hands on Super Meat Boy itself. See you tomorrow.